we will be using the box method of factoring to factor the given trinomial. Now, before we factor the following, be sure that you have already pulled out the greatest common factor if necessary. Well, looking at x squared plus 8x plus 12, we don't have a GCF to pull out, so then we continue. In the very first box, we will write the first term, x squared. So here's the first box, and I'm going to write x squared. In the fourth box down here in the corner, we will write our third term, which is a 12. So here's my 12. And I'm going to write plus 12. Now, you may be wondering what goes in these two diagonal boxes. So that's what we're going to figure out. So, what we will first do is multiply the coefficients of these two boxes. In this, case, in this case, we have a 1, and here we have a 12. So, multiplying, we get 1 times 12, which is 12, a positive value. So, now, what we need to do is find the factors of 12 that will add up to equal this right here. And in this case, it's a positive 8. So don't worry about positive or negative values right now. All we need to do is find the factors of 12. So what are the numbers that multiply to equal 12? So we have 1 times 12. We have 2 times 6. And we have 3 times 4. Now, let's look and think about this. Which is the only possible combination that can give us 8 in any way? Well... 2 and 6. Now, let's think about this for a minute. The only way to get a positive 12 when multiplying is if you have a positive times a positive and a negative times a negative. Well, we know that 2 and 6 must add up to equal a positive 8. So we don't need to worry about negative values because if we added minus 2, minus 6, that would give us negative 8 and not positive. So therefore, we have a plus 2 and a plus 6. Now what we do with this information is write it in the remaining boxes that are yet to be filled. Now it doesn't matter which one goes where, but what we will write is an x along with that number. So plus 2x, and so in this next box, plus 6x. So now that we've done that, that was probably the hardest part because all that's left to do is factor out the greatest common factor from each of the rows and then each of the columns. So let's look at the rows first. We have x squared plus 2x. Well, what can we factor out here? In this case, we will factor out just an x since that is the only thing that they have in common. In the second row, we've got a plus 6x and a plus 12. Well, let's see here. We can't factor out an x term, but we can factor out the GCF, which is a 6. So I'm going to factor out a plus 6, since this box right here happens to, be, happens to have a positive number. I'm going to write my plus 6 here. Now, look at the first column, x squared plus 6x. Well, the only thing that can be factored out here is an x term. And again, it's the x with the smaller power. So I will write an x here. Now, looking at the second column, we've got a plus 2x and a plus 12. Well, we can't factor out an x term, but we can factor out the GCF, which is 2. So I'm going to write plus 2, since this box right here contained a positive number. A number that we were adding. So now we have our factors. Maybe you just don't see it yet. So let's look here and let's look here. Our factors can be written like this. x plus 2 times x plus 6. So we found our factors. Now you can check this by doing the FOIL method, and you will see that you will obtain x squared plus 8x plus 12. 
So we factored the given polynomial using the box method of factoring.